um, page 32 you can get in over here too. Yeah, just get in front of her. And, just yeah. and it's converting solids to um, converting solid equivalents. So we're doing the kilogram, gram, milligram, and microgram. So when you go large to small, which is this way, you move the decimal point three to the right. When you're going from small to large, you're going to move the decimal point three to the left. Um, if you write this down, it actually really helps before the test. Got that one wrong because I didn't write it down. And so the first example is 0 0.25 grams, and it wants you to go to milligrams. So if you're going large to small, you're going to go three places to the right. So when she's saying you bump three places to the right, you need to think of it as moving the decimal point, like picking up the decimal point and moving it three places. So when this motion is made, think about it like you're moving the decimal place there. So you're going to do that three times. If it helps to erase this afterwards, erase it. But just remember that that's where your, new, your decimal point is there now. So this answer <clears throat> would be wrong if you wrote it this way. 0, 0.0, 0, 0, because zeros never lead, and they don't follow. So we would actually drop off the front and the back, and we would come up with 250 milligrams. I thought you put a zero in front. That's what I did, too. Does that help? Yes. OK. So if you were to do one, oh. Really, zeros never lead? I thought, <laughs> that's why she danced all around the room. So we're doing 0 0.1 gram, and we're going to convert to milligrams. So that's why we have this here. We're looking at how, how far we're moving the decimal place. So if you take the 0 0.1, and you just throw some zeros on there, it doesn't change the value because zeros drop off, right? So they're just nothing. So we're moving the decimal place. One, two, three. So your new number is 0 0.0. .0. Again, zeros never lead, and they never follow. So your answer is 100. The decimal is just a placeholder if there's leftovers. And since it's a zero, you're just saying it's a whole number. All whole numbers, if you were to write it, have a decimal point to the right. Obviously, we don't do that. If you think of it as a whole number, then you realize that you don't need to put that decimal. Zeros never lead, and zeros never follow. <laughs> Write it on your test. So if you had an astronomical number, I think she did like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we put the decimal point, say, here, and we'll call these um, micrograms. Oops. I <laughs> think they all have to be lowercase. So if you're going micrograms, and we're going to go to kilograms, so we're going this way, which is from small to large, so we're going to go three to the left for each conversion. That's where I made my mistake. That's where I made my mistake. So the, <laughs> the first conversion would be from micrograms to milligrams. So you'd go one, two, three. So your new number is 1.234567. You would never have all those numbers. You'd probably drop it off right here, but this is just for the sake of conver conversions. Um, first conversion is to micrograms. And then you go from micrograms to grams. So you're going to we'll just add some zeros so that our a little bump makes more sense. So we're going to pick up the decimal point and we're going to say one, two, three, 
and our new number is 0 0.00123456767 grams. <laughs> and now we're going to go from grams to kilograms. So we're going to add some more zeros. Just for placeholders, just because if I if I do these little bumpy thingies and there's no zero there, sometimes I add in extra zeros. So it just helps me not to make a mistake. So we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to drop this leading zero, and you have 0 0.00000123456767 kilograms. So this number is your answer to the conversion from micrograms to kilograms. Do you want me to stop recording? Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes. <laughs>